Hello everyone, this is RJ with Praying Through Proverbs. I'm glad that you tuned in as we start another week with our Lord. As we are walking through Proverbs, I want us to remember that Proverbs is our way to come back to the fear of the Lord as we bow down and as we continue to trust the wisdom that comes from God. Today from chapter 6, I would like to uh, tell you that there are many things that were applicable uh, that might be a good life instruction. But for me, it came down to this. From verse 23 to 20, 20 to 23, it says, My son, keep your father's command. Don't am- abandon your mother's instruction. Bind them on your heart for all time. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk around, they will lead you. When you lie down, they will protect you. When you awake, they will occupy your attention. The commandment is a lamp and instruction a light. Corrective teaching is the path of life. Now I do have to make a disclaimer that after this follows, listening to your parents will lead you from getting out of the snares of uh, the seductive nature uh, that we have in our sexual immorality. But I just wanted to focus more onto these three verses because it, it is a command that is given by our parents and, and the word says that to remember it. Now I'll first have to say we are to follow God's commands alone, but a lot of times God's commands are transferred and translated through our parents. So that's the reason why God had asked us, even in the Ten Commandments, to respect and follow and obey our parents. But I also want to point it out. Have you ever gone to some tough times in your life? When you felt like there was no more way and no more counsel or no more support? Aren't our parents the ones that we turn back unto? Or... Aren't the teachings of our parents sustain us or realize, helps us to realize that we had walked away from those instructions? And probably at this time, as a lot of us are going through a tough situation, especially when this nation is going through a tough situation, that's where I feel like there is a call for us to come back to the instructions that we might had disregarded. And it is our time to reclaim those ways of life that we might had lost in the busyness or maybe our drive to fulfill our own ways. Coming to prayer is a great way to come back and see what kind of instructions that I might had hid under the carpet. And it is to dig down into ourselves. It is to open us and see and examine our lives. So as we pray for this nation, I would also ask us to pray together and see what God is asking us in this time. So let us have a time to pray. Grateful Lord, we come to you. We come to you knowing that you are our creator. You are our ultimate parent. And as we come in front of your ways and as we are bowing our heads in one of the toughest time of our life or maybe even in our nation we come to seek what your will is we lay down our hearts we lay down our ways we lay down our thoughts in the fear of your everlasting love And we ask, what is it that you want us to hear? So as we pray, 
may you give us the wisdom to know how and what we need to turn away from and focus our hearts back onto your commandment. Talk to us as we present our hearts to you. Let us pray together, asking for that wisdom and asking for God's help for us to turn back onto the commandments. Let us pray together. As we continue to pray, let us turn our prayers into a prayer of intercessory. Prayer to pray for all those who are affected by this virus. Also for praying for all the families and households who are going through a tough time of their lives. Let us pray together. As we continue to pray, I would like to ask us to pray for our leaders, for our healthcare workers, essential workers, but also let us ask, add, and pray for the unity of this nation. Let us pray together. Now join me in the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day as we go through this pandemic. Let us pray together. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessings, past, present, and future. You are a rock, 
and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever. This virus called COVID-19 that is spreading rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all of those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust in you in the days ahead and forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us continue to pray the prayer that our Lord had taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining our prayer once more. And thank you for joining in this journey of reading through Proverbs. I pray that you will be safe and healthy. And if you have any prayer, please comment below or send an email at pastor at rcmc.org. Pray that we'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.